Hi guys, welcome to All About Apps. In this video, we are going to learn how to add sound to our applications. This is a Sketchware Tutorial 6 and in case you haven't watched the previous tutorials, I'll be having the links in the description below. So basically guys, we are going to add two sound to our application and sound 1 will be played when button 1 is clicked and sound 2 will be played on clicking the other button. So let's go ahead and add two buttons in the horizontal layout. Also let's add three more buttons for stopping the sound and give these buttons an appropriate name to avoid confusion later on. Now we need to add the sound component to our app. Once done, we can see that there are 4 blocks associated with this and I will explain them all in this video. So this is the first block and we need to call this block before playing any sound and the best way of doing this is once the app is opened. We need to select the name of the sound component and the other entry that we need to make here is the number of the sound that can be played at a time. In this case we need to enter 2 since we want to play 2 sounds. So this is the second block and here we need to load the sound and associate it with the sound pool. You can think of this as adding the sound to the sound pool and this block similar to the above one needs to be called once before playing the sound. We can use this block with the help of a variable and let's declare two variables for two sounds. One thing to observe here is that each sound is associated with a sound id and a stream id. The third block you are seeing is used for playing the sound and will associate the sound with the stream id. Once this block is called this will play the sound at least once and it also provides you the option of playing it more than one time. Here as well we can use this block only with the help of a variable. So let's declare two variables for two sounds. Here we have to pass the sound variable which we used in the previous block. In my case I'll be entering 0 here since I want the sound to be played only once. The last block as the name suggests is used for stopping the playing sound and the only option that needs to be passed here is the stream id which is nothing but a variable which we had created for using the third block. Now let's run this app and see what it sounds like. You can actually try what happens when you give 1 instead of the 2 in the first block and what happens when you enter a number greater than 2. If you note the difference, mention that in the comments so that it will be helpful for others. Also if you have any doubts or questions on the sound block, mention that in the comments and I will try to answer them. I hope this video was helpful and please subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.